Hi and welcome back to our Sprinter build series. Today we're going to be building a headliner shelf for the van and I want to build one that sits at a level right about right here so that we still maintain use of these pockets and we could still pass under this to the back without having to duck too much. So essentially we're going to build it out of half inch plywood and the dimensions are fairly straight through here so we have to account for a little bump out here we have to account for a corner on each corner of the van and since the wood's going to tuck up in here a little bit we have to account for this curve right here so as you've probably seen on this channel in the past you want to scribe the corners i'm just using a pen and a washer that way it can flex and go around the corner so I let the, the washer follow the contour of the, the corner and I transpose that onto cardboard. So I essentially had a cardboard for the corners and I put it up and then with the washer I let it trace the corner. So that got me two corner pieces and it took me two or three tries before the radius ended up the way that I wanted it. And then I did the same for this point. I wanted the wood to come up to about here. So I set my wood up, traced it with the washer and the pen. And then after two or three passes of cutting this, I got it to the right shape. So now um, we take these and we transpose them onto wood and um, I had the benefit of actually having a friend's template that he had made for his van so mine is going to be at a slightly different height but um, I'm able to use that as a base and I will transfer my curves and corners onto that wood. You could do the same thing with a bigger piece of cardboard or a big piece of reflectix or something so let's move on to that part. Now the widest part I measured right about 57 and an eighth wide. So I'm going to start with a piece of wood 57 and an eighth. I will cut out the curve for the corners, the curve here, and then I'll have to count for about this three quarter to one inch bump out here, but I will do that part. Um, after cutting out the initial piece of wood. Now this is my starting point template for the van. This is a template that my friend used for his van except that my headliner is going to be, your headliner shelf is going to be in a different position. Mine is going to be higher than his and as the roof goes up it gets narrower. So his starting point is about 57 and a quarter. I measured about 57 and an eighth. I think it's probably going to end up right around 57 inches wide. So this is this is straight through here and then there's about a one inch detent to go around a portion of the headliner that starts about three and a half inches back from the, the shelf. Uh, three and five eighths. And then because my headliner shelf is higher I have a slightly different curve up here. So I'm transferring all of those onto this template and then I will cut out my plywood based on that. And then as always, woodworking for me is I will have to shape it by hand until I get the right fit. I'll be wrapping mine in tweed so I need to account for the thickness of the material to go around the corner and whereas my friend's shelf was um, just bare wood. So that means that mine will be even smaller yet due to it being both higher on the ceiling and having the tweed around the corner. All right, here's my friend's headliner shelf with my template. You can see how different the curve is depending on how high you mount your headliner shelf. So I'm going to trace the reflectix.
Got my assistant here doing the test fit. That looks like we've got a good start. So I've temporar temporarily attached the ledge here, and as per usual, working with wood, with me, no amount of scribing is going to get this right, so I have slowly carved the corners out to the shape that they should be, and I've finally gotten to the point where I've got fitment that I'm happy with. I've put some marks in the corners. I still need to still need to angle these just a little bit because I'm getting some some touching there so once I do just a little bit more carving then I'll go ahead and cover this up in tweed I bought this set of brackets where else but on Amazon to help support this and these are really nice and strong I can't bend this so this is probably perfect for the shelf the problem is is that this is not a 90 degree angle. So you put this up here and this needs to be bent to the right angle. You'll also note, this is just by dumb luck, this hole lines up perfectly right here where we need it. So that's, that's great. So here's what we want. We want it to be bent. So we'll go measure this angle. I think it's 98 degrees, 96 degrees. I don't know, we'll go look. I'll show you how I built, bent these brackets. So you guys know by now that I use 80-20 for almost everything. So for bending these brackets, I set it in the vise. I put a couple drop-in T-nuts in the 80-20. Thread them in. That's right where we want to be. Now we're back in the van. I bought a slightly larger set of brackets for the back because I wasn't sure that the shorter ones would make it down this far, but as it turns out, the shorter ones would have been fine. However, I'm having the same luck in the rear as I had in the front, and I don't know how this happens because I never have this kind of luck, but I don't know if you can see that but the hole in this bracket just happens to line up perfect here too. And the holes in these smaller brackets are in different locations. I'll have to show you later. So had I used the smaller bracket, the hole wouldn't have been in the right spot. If you use a larger bracket, it was like it was made to go there. Awesome. All right, here we go on the bigger bracket. Okay, that might be about right. It's a little bit more than the smaller bracket. Okay, now I have the brackets fitting well, so the measurements are the 
angles that you want. You want about 99 degrees for the front brackets. And about 102, 103 degrees for the rear brackets. I just still can't believe the luck that this lines up. When does that happen? I put this up to protect the plastic because I brought this thing in and out of the van probably 15 times. These front brackets are a little bit too long, so we're going to mark it and we're going to cut that leg off. And that will hide the bottom part of it. We're going to wrap both sides of this board in tweed, so I marked two inches all the way around, and now we'll cut it out. I cut out the tweed, and I put reliefs to go around the corners. That way, basically, I will glue and staple these around the corners. And I talked more about this in my Making a Wall Panel video. So at this point we'll go ahead and turn this over and we're going to spray glue on both surfaces of the wood and on the material. Now we traced the pattern of this. <laughs> onto the back of the velour. We had to wrap this as two layers. So here is the layer that's going to face down, face down to the, uh, the seats. And then here's the layer that we will glue on top.
I laid the vinyl down below this wooden strip. I screwed this down and now I'm just going to glue and wrap this around the corners. All right, we got the headliner shelf in. It looks really good. Now I just marked the holes here for where they screw into the bottom of the shelf. And then I will pull the brackets out and paint them because they got a little bit marked up in the vise. And then uh, we'll put it in for good. And here's how the corners came out. I've marked the locations for where my brackets go and then I like to use the soldering gun to uh, sort of cauterize the, the fabric here otherwise the screw might grab the fabric and pull it so this seems to alleviate that. One thing to be aware of is I had to use a right angle screwdriver to get this farthest end bracket on. You could probably maybe attach the bracket before you slide it into place. I'm not sure. I used this.
All right, guys, that's it for the headliner project. I'm not sure what I have into this in terms of cost. Um, the plywood is half inch uh, Baltic birch. It's used about a third of a sheet. I think it's, don't quote me on this, but like $32 a sheet. And then the materials, the tweed and stuff, I had left over from doing the wall panels. So um, I didn't buy that separately, but I think this stuff is something like $16 a yard something like that. Anyway, and then the brackets are um, I purchased on Amazon, so I will put a link to all the products I use on my website, which is our, O-U-R, caravan, K-A-R-A-V-A-N.com. If you go up the upper right corner and click on store, uh, everything used in the van you can find on there. So, as usual, thanks for you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon.